This video is sponsored by FontLab. Hi, this is Julie Schaefer. And for my Three Minutes Max, we're gonna replicate this org chart in its entirety at the bottom half of the page. So before we get started, I wanna show you the paragraph styles I already have built. So I have obviously one for client, and then the rest of them are in a loop of next styles. So org chart role to org chart name to org chart firm and back to org chart role. So I'm looping and we can loop infinitely with our team. Also in org chart role, if we right click to edit that, notice that I have that next style like we mentioned, and then here in keep options, it's gonna start the paragraph in the next frame. That is key for how this works because I want that org chart role, the one that's in all caps with the pink shading, at the top of each frame. Click OK. So go over to your type tool and click and drag a text frame. But before you let go of your mouse, click your right arrow key twice and your up arrow key until you get a grid of three by five. Just like we do with Gridify with photos, we can do it with text frames, but it has a special hidden bonus. That is, when we let go, the text frames will automatically be threading left to right, top to bottom. Perfect. So I'm going to go to my selection tool and I'm just simply going to delete out the ones that I don't need. I can select all of the text on the left, copy it, and I'm simply going to paste it in in the top frame. Notice how it's threading really nicely, although not quite correctly because we haven't applied the styles yet. I'm going to command or control A to select all of the text then right click on org client in paragraph styles panel and choose apply org client then next style boom all of those are done we can see how it's threading perfectly now i just want to select those bottom frames go to my object style apply the org box which is just a navy fill with some inset spacing option command c or alt control c to fit frame to content now, of course, I can just simply drag those over so they're in the margins. Now to create the lines in the trees, I'm gonna to go to my rectangle tool, click and drag on a rectangle. I really need a three-sided rectangle. So to do that, create a rectangle, go to your direct select tool, select off, select on that bottom line and delete it. So now we have a three-sided rectangle. I can put it into place, hold down the option key to duplicate it down here. And now I can just draw some additional lines to get everything all connected. We'll go up to here to client. We'll go over here between our two executives. One more here. And now I can simply grab maybe project manager, arrange, bring to front, and we are done. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.